Hello and welcome to this video. This is Catrix and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the splitting tool in Fusion 360. Now sometimes you might find that you need to split a body or a component in half or maybe not even in half but maybe uh, in the quarters. Well there's two or three main sort of ways to do that. So the most simple way to do it I find is to create a mid plane and click opposite ends of the model. Now click OK and go to the splitting tool and select the body and then for the splitting tool select the plane you just made. Click OK. So now if we go down to the bodies folder we should have two separate bodies. If for some reason you decide that you want to make them whole again what you can do is go to the combine tool and then for the target body, select these two. And for the, uh, and for the tool body, was sorry, was the second one. And for the operation, choose join. Now, we don't want to select any of these unless you want it to be a new component, which I doubt you do. So we're just going to click OK. So now we just got our single body back. So if I turn off this construction plane so it just gets out of the way, we can look at another way to split this body in the same fashion. So what you can do is create a sketch on one of the faces and use the line tool and draw it across. Of course, it doesn't need to be straight. Just to prove that, I'm going to draw something quite different. So I'm going to draw some sort of wavy line. Now click the tick. Finish sketch. Now if we go to the splitting tool, go to the body to split, and on the splitting tool select our spline we have now cut in a different fashion so we have the separate bodies this is quite easy for a simple shape like this but actually let's say we want to split it down a different direction diagonally and just use the line tool again finish the sketch and go to split body body to split and the splitting tool as this line. Now we have several pieces. So as I was saying, this is quite easy for a simple square shape like that, but how would we do it for something like this that doesn't have separate faces? It has one large face, which is circular. So if we try and do what we did before, construct, sorry, construct, mid plane we can't do it unless we do these two but what if i want to split down the other axis the vertical axis well um the best way to do that i have found is to go to construct put an axis through cylinder okay and then go to construct plane at angle and select this axis so now we have a plane perfectly in the middle now obviously we can just go to split body and for the splitting tool select this plane. Yes. So again we have separate pieces. As before we could just do the same thing again. Combine it back up. Make sure we're on the join operation. Of course we could just create a sketch and do the line thing from before. Select that as a splitting tool and cut in that way. What about if we have a sphere? Something that you're very unlikely to use, um, but still got to cover it anyway. Well, this has the same sort of issue. So for that, you want to go to Point at center of circle sphere torus and click OK. Construction perpendicular to face at point. So now we need to select the face and then hold our left mouse button down over the point and select the point. This creates an axis cutting through the sphere. Now we can click OK and like before go to plane at angle and select our axis. Now we can just rotate this around maybe we didn't want it that direction and cut here 
Now we can go to split body and for the splitting tool select our plane. So we go down to bodies we can see we've got two separate pieces of a sphere. Of course if we go back we could if you press V on your keyboard you can hide the planes like that. I'm going to hide construction as well. We could also go to split body and for, select that as the body to split and for the splitting saw select one of these origin planes since we created a sphere about the origin and then click OK. So that achieves the same effect. So the same thing with the torus, something else you're probably not likely to use but is still going to explain it anyway. So you need to go to construct. Of course we could also go to split body and use the same thing from before or this plane. Whoops. And we've got two separate pieces. And like before, combine like so and click OK. Now if you're wondering what the purpose of under combine, if you're wondering what the purpose of keep tools is, is sometimes we want to use a body as a tool and by that I mean we want to use the shape of the bot and by that I mean we want to use the shape of another body to cut into or subtract a piece from another body but we don't want to remove that body after we've done the cut operation For, and I'm, I'll show you that right now so let's say I wanted to take a let's choose something like this let's control Z so we get them back together I'm going to create a I'm just going to create it as a new body that's fine uh, so I'm going to go to new sketch on this surface I'm going to draw here I'm going to select center rectangle and draw 15 by 15 for example finish sketch now I'm going to hold my left mouse button and select the profile. By holding the left mouse button you get that little menu so you can select things that are behind the model that is topmost. So we're going to change it to join. Sorry, we're not going to change it to join. We're going to select new body. And 20 should be fine. Now I'm just going to move this body. I'm just going to move this body. Make sure you have the move type as free move. We're going to just move it here. And now I'm going to just kind of put it a bit into the body just to prove this example. So if we go to combine and then we go to select this as the target body and for the tool body we're going to use this as the tool. Think of this as like a chisel and we're chiseling some of this material out of the sphere. If we don't if I select cut here, if we don't select keep tools, this body will be removed afterwards. See, now it's disappeared. We have what we wanted, but the tool has disappeared because we didn't select keep tools. So if we go back and I go to combine and now select keep tools for the tools, select this thing again, but we've got keep tools selected and click OK, you can see it doesn't disappear. That's essentially what keep tools means. So if this was an important thing that we still wanted to use in the design, then that's why we would keep it. So I can move that out of the way. So now we have a subtraction of this. Of course, in combined, we can do other several operations such as uh, intersect. So if we go back before I did that operation, now go to combine and intersect. I'm going to select this as the tool body. Now we have only the bit that overlaps each other. So if we click OK and move that, this is our intersection of the two shapes. You can probably find that this is quite useful in some circumstances.
So yeah, this is a short video on combine and splitting bodies in Fusion 360. So I hope that helped and you'll find it easy to cut and split bodies in the future. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Or if you found it horrendous, please feel free to insult me in the comments. And while you're here, don't forget to check out the previous video, if you haven't already, and the next video. Catch you in the next one.